Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to install the iOS 16 public beta, which was just released. So the developer beta has been out for a while. That's why you might have seen other videos about the features of iOS 16, but now it's open to the public. So you can now install the beta for yourself on your iPhone. Do be advised, it's a beta. It still has bugs and glitches and your phone might not work exactly as it should just because they are still working on it. It's still in beta. Um, so just keep that in mind before downloading the public beta. But okay, let's get started and show you guys how to install the public beta for yourself. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your web browser and go to beta.apple.com. So on this page, you will see you have the Apple beta software program, and then it gives you more information that you can go and read about, about iOS 16, iPadOS, watchOS, um, all the new OSs that they released. But now what you want to do, if you actually want to download the profile for yourself, you need to either sign up if it's your first time um, downloading the Apple beta program, um, or you want to go ahead and just click sign in if you've done this before. And then it's going to ask you to sign in to your Apple ID. And then it takes you to a page which says guide for public betas. And here you can find um, information about all the public betas that they are releasing, such as the iPad, Mac OS as well. Um, so you just decide which one you want to download. But for this one, we're going to go with iOS. And then they also give you more information about getting started, provide feedback, and um, just a bunch of other things they recommend you do, like backing up your device. And then to actually download the profile, you need to go to enroll your iOS device in the get started section. And then it takes you to this screen, which says enroll your devices. And then you can go ahead and go through all the steps they give you. They do recommend, like I said, that you do do a backup on your phone. So archive a backup, and then it gives you the install profile section. So there you'll see the download profile button, which you can click to download the profile. So then it will start downloading, but first it will ask you for verification that it is allowed to download this profile to your phone since you're downloading something from a website. So you just click on allow. And once you've done that, you're going to go back into settings and then you'll see in settings, it says profile downloaded. When you tap on that, it will automatically bring up iOS 16 and iPadOS 16 beta software. Um, and then you can just click on install in the top right, enter your passcode, and then you're going to have to agree to all the terms and conditions and click on install again. Once you've done that, it's going to ask you to restart your phone just so that it can go to the software update section of your phone. So then once you've restarted your phone, you can go ahead and go back into settings and then scroll down to general and software update. And then you'll see the iOS 16 public beta release, and then you can click on download and install. It's going to ask you a few things like if you want to use cellular data and if your phone is full, it's going to ask if it can uninstall a few apps so that it can download the beta, but it will reinstall them once you're done. Um, so you can just go ahead and go through that and then it will say requesting update. And after a while, it will show that it is downloading the public beta and it will show you how long it will take more or less. Okay, so now it's downloading the public beta to my phone. So I'm just going to be coming back to you guys once it's finished downloading. It's quite a big file, so it will take a while to download. Okay, so it's finished downloading the update now. So now we're just going to click on install now and it's going to say verifying update. And then it's going to go to this black screen and then the update will start running. This is again going to take a while to install, but I'll get back to you guys once we're done. I want you to finish the update. This is what your home screen will look like. The time looks extremely different. And then also here you can just see notifications now go from the bottom um, that you can just swipe down or swipe up to see more information about it. So this is so cool and I really love the look of it. I'm going to change my wallpaper and see if I can find some more customization on it just to show you guys. Um, so we're just going to unlock the phone. And also I can immediately see my icons look more 3D. This is gonna be a problem for apps like Clear Spaces, which now um, doesn't match the whole background. Um, so we'll see how we can handle that. Um, but overall, it looks kind of weird now. I have to get used to this. Um, so I'm just gonna change my wallpaper and things like that just to, um, find out what looks best for iOS 16. So just change my wallpaper so that you can see that depth effect that um, Apple now adds to their home screen so that the person is kind of like over the text of the time. So that is really cool. Um, I'll do a whole video on her home screen customization in a later video. Okay, so that was my video on how to download and install the iOS 16 public beta. I absolutely love this update. I love the customization that they bring to the home screen and things like that. Um, so yeah, I will be doing more videos about the update and all its features. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for those. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if this video was helpful for you, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And also leave a comment down below if you have any other questions for me. Definitely subscribe for more videos like this. 
Click on the playlist to see all of my other iOS 16 related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!